Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your speaking and welcome to the introduction spoiler video for multiplayer game number 54. This short video will compose of two parts. In the first part I will introduce the game, players and settings and in the second part I will do a short summary of the game so if you do not want to know how the game went please stop watching after the first part and go to the second position of the playlist where the actual game starts. So this time I'm playing a free for all, no quitters, six player game and no quitters is a steam group that gathers people who just want to play Civ without people quitting on them mid game. You can find the link in the about section of my on my main channel page. So just check the profile, read the rules, join the chat and ask moderator for an invite. Now, in this game, we've got Hadrianus, Sativa, Wild Wave, Ruler of G-Spot, White Knighted and myself playing as Indonesia. So now, let's get to the game. So second warning if you do not want to know how the game went please stop watching right now and go to the second position of the playlist so I landed almost on the coast and I definitely decided to move there was a lot of chops uh, there was a hill with the forest mm, yes I would lose the forest but getting a hill start is always great and having a coastal capital in free for alls mm, it's a pretty good idea most of the time so I did decide to plant mm, on the hill with the forest to get a coastal capital and to get a hill start and some early chops the situation turned out to be very interesting from the start. I had Korea as my closest neighbor uh, and Babylon pretty much pretty close as well. There was quite a lot of good land and uh, quite a lot of unique luxuries and a Grand Mesa sitting very close to Malacca. So I basically Basically, I decided to try out Liberty one more time and get rid of Korea as fast as possible because, you know, Korea, if you let them live for too long, they just get you slaughtered later on. So I did settle uh, Grand Mesa with my frontal city that Mm, that started a pretty interesting reaction from Korea player, ruler of the G-spot. Uh, he basically, mm, well, he basically started to whine on me a little bit. Hey, why do you settle so close? You're going to ruin the game for both of us. Well, okay, well, I settle so close. It's obvious because I consider you a great threat and... I want to block you and I want to kill you pretty much ASAP. Well, but does it mean that I'm going to spoil a game for me or for you? No siree. So his attitude was not that great. Uh, thankfully for him, well, thankfully for him, probably thankfully for me as well. Uh, Sativa playing as Babylon decided to expand towards me as well. So basically I landed absolutely in the middle between two and great sciences between Korea and Babylon so I just decided to go all out war and try to take Babylon and try to take Babylon and try to take out Korea as fast as possible well it took me quite some time to actually deal some damage to Sativa's frontal city but Finally, I was able to get Akkad down um, and then work on uh, those two other frontal cities, which was pretty good defensive cities that take quite a long time. What did happen on the other side? Well, basically, uh, Korea decided to uh, just grow up peacefully. 
he did not attack me from the other side while I was busy fighting with Babylon, which in my opinion was a great mistake. Mm, on the other side of Babylon, there was a wild wave playing as Brazil, playing pretty much peacefully. And on the other side of Korea, we had Poland and Egypt. First of all, I think Poland attacked Egypt, then Egypt tried to counter, but at the end, Egypt got wiped out of the planet by Poland. Uh, so, White Knighted um, won that side of the map uh, while I was trying to get rid of Babylon. Many turns later, I finally was able to break uh, break Babylon down. Basically, at the same time, Egypt was losing um, his capital. So, after the demise of Babylon, I had to move everything that I had to try and attack Korea as fast as possible. He had a lot of time to take up and get a tech lead he got four very nice tradition cities so he definitely was a next target and well he had to be attacked very very quickly mm, at the same time i was trying to negotiate with what white knighted and he basically shared my opinion that korea needs to be taken out first uh, before we would be able to duke it out mm, between us. Well, the fight for Korea's capital was definitely hard. Mm, White Knighted helped very, very much. I mean, like, he, mm, he attacked Korea as soon as he finished off Egypt, so he was able to take uh, Korea's frontal city from the po Polish side, and I attacked from Surabaya, um, planting an offensive citadel. Thanks to my great wall and my great general's advantage, I was able to uh, get a nice piece of land and kind of deny Korea the ability to defend. And I was able to slowly wear his capital down. Uh, on top of that, I had the help of Malacca, the closest city-state, Korea's capital. Uh, so. I was able to break him down, though he had a huge tech advantage, uh, huachas, uh, all that good stuff. Mm, well, the things that I did have was more than enough to take his capital down. After taking his capital, mm, White Knighted and Wild Wave decided to concede to me. Uh, I was the leader in tech and production, mm, but Still, White Knight probably could fight. He told me after the game that he was very close to getting frigates. Um, and with frigates, it was quite probable that he would be able to take my capital down. Um, so I would have to fight an uphill battle later on to retake it and then try to pressurize his cities that are not on the coast. So probably that could... Um, turn out into a little bit more interesting game later on but well we'll never know how it will turn out because they did and uh, they did concede um, they did concede to me this time um, well my personal opinion is probably in the end i would win anyways so white knight probably did make wise choice because my land army and great wall advantage would eventually wear him down and frigates, frigates would not help him mm, but still we could fight <laughs> a little bit longer but anyways thank you very much for the game everyone mm, gg and thank you for watching and i invite you to watch the actual game that starts on the second position of the playlist so best wishes yours out